Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard and this is Shadow Camping. Today, the sun's out, I'm in the woods and I'm out for a cheeky lunch. I've got my wok with me, so I'm just gonna go and get some firewood and then I'll come back to you and we'll light a fire and start cooking. Obviously, one of the things that's very important when you're having a fire in the woods is to make sure that you clear the leaf litter out of the way so that you're not gonna set that on fire as well. As promised, I've collected some firewood and I'm now ready to light the fire. So I'll bring you in a bit and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, last time I used some tumble dryer fluff, which worked really well. So I thought I'd try that again, um, make sure it wasn't a fluke. And you can see there's some garden, uh, some of the the waste from the uh, <clears throat> cutting up the vegetables on there. And for those keen-eyed observers they'll notice that uh, the wood pile, when I show you in a minute, it's lots of very small sticks because the wok, it needs a high heat for a short period rather than the normal top style, style of cooking. I'm gonna be doing some rice with this, so I'm gonna put the rice on now because it'll take a while. Um, thank you to Jamie Oliver. One part rice, two parts water. So there's the rice and two of those of water. You can hear that deer in the background barking. A bit early for that one. This usually comes around later. So, that's the rice. Put the lid on it. And stick it over the fire. So, put the wok ring over. There's a couple of people asked where I got this from um, and had I made it. The answer is that it's the same diameter as a 12 kilo gas cylinder and then it's just welded up. It does mean that you can get it nice and close to the fire. Now I'm just going to put a bit of the uh, sauce. It's, it's a mixture. I'll put the ingredients in the uh, the box below. I just want to put a bit of a sauce on the chicken so that the corn flour mix will or corn flour will stick onto it. I put quite a lot of corn flour on this. Let's mix that up a bit. You basically just want to coat it, it's like a little batter. Okay. So we're ready to put the wok on and get the, uh, the oil on. I might just put a few more sticks on there. Now, it's important to remember that you're cooking with oil and you've got an open fire, so you do have to be careful. You don't want the oil going above about 180 degrees, really. And never overfill the wok. But we haven't got massive amount of chicken today, so we don't need huge amounts of uh, 
Det var väl den där. One of the good ways of finding out if your oil is hot enough is if you happen to have a chopstick, or because we're in the woods you could use a piece of wood, just put your chopstick in and if it fizzles like that, that means you're around about 180 degrees. So it's time for the chicken to go in. You just put it in carefully. And if you think it's getting a bit hot, you just take the wok off. It doesn't take too long. Maybe three or four minutes. Trying to get a nice bit of colour on them. I think that's done. So I'll take those out and put those aside and then we'll carry on with the rest of it. As before, I'll put a few more sticks on just to get the heat back up again. Some under the rice as well. So, tiny bit of oil. in with the onions. So they take the longest to cook. I already pre-cut all the vegetables. Nice fire going there. See how quickly the onions colour. So now we're going with the peppers.
chilies and the garlic in. It's a shame you can't have smell vision because this smells really good. So now we're ready to put the uh, the sauce component in. Again, I'll put a uh, a link down at the bottom so that you can see the what the sauce is. What we do is we put a little bit of water in so that the sauce goes over everything. And then once it comes back down to a sort of a caramelly consistency, we put the chicken back in. See, it's kind of getting there, it's not a caramelly sort of thing. Put the chicken in, stir that around, and a quick flip. And that's how you do Kung Pao chicken in the woods. So we just pop that aside and get the rice out. As you can see, it's perfectly done. So, we'll put some rice on the plate. Oops. And then, the star of the show. Can power chicken. Now I know last time I said that I'm not very good with chopsticks, but I thought I'd have a go and see how I get on. I'm sure someone will tell me that I'm doing it wrong, but uh, look at that. Mm. Absolutely delicious. That is fantastic. I'll come back to you when I've uh, sampled a little more of it. Well, I can tell you that was absolutely fantastic. Um, another clean plate, um, though maybe a little too much for me. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of a rest and uh, then I'm going to uh, get going. I've got some jobs to do at home. So um, I am coming out again shortly. Um, quite a few people asked if I'd show them how the camp was set up. So in the next video, I'll go through that. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks very much and goodbye.